This is pretty cool. All right, so passengers in Jet A are going 80 kilometers per hour due east, like right in the figure, right? They observe a second jet, plane B, that passes under in horizontal flight. And so they're looking out at Jet B, and they, they see that the nose of Jet B is pointed 45 degrees to the northeast, but it appears that the jet is, is sliding off sideways to the left wing, you know, at that 60-degree angle. Uh, determine the true magnitude of the velocity of B. So first of all, do you realize that this is a relative velocity problem? Obviously, it's in the relative velocity section of our book. You, you know, your homework is to be in the relative velocity section of your homework. But, you know, if, if, you, if you didn't know any better, how do we know this is kind of a relative velocity problem? That, that line right there, right, that, that plane B appears to the passengers in A. It doesn't say relative, but that, that's what it means. Plane B with respect to A. Right. So this would be a, you know, is it a V B slash J or V A slash B? This would be a B, a V B slash A problem. All right. So now that I know it's relative velocity problem, I know it's a V, v B slash A problem. I would write this equation V B equals V A plus V B slash A. And I would plug in everything I could, right? I'm given some, some numbers, some information in, in this problem. And so I need to decide, okay, that 800 goes with which term? That 45 degrees goes with which term, you know? Sometimes I like to uh, kind of do this number right here just to remind myself I've got a magnitude and a direction. I've got a magnitude and a direction. I've got a magnitude and a direction and try to kind of plug in all, you know, six of these things as best I can. Okay, so uh, let's start with this 800. Where does that 800 go? Where does that 800 go? Now, occasionally you can put some things in the wrong place and still get the right answer. You know, those, those two on the right-hand side, if you switch those, but you really can't put a direction with the wrong, if you put a direction with the wrong magnitude, then you're, you're going completely wrong. Uh, but anyway, that 800 would be right here, right? The velocity of A, that is the real velocity of A. Yeah, another thing, let's write this real, real perceived. That's, I think that's helpful to, for me. So it's really going 800, it's really going it due east in the I direction. Okay, so uh, this 60 degree angle right there, where does that go? Which term does that go with? Yeah, yeah, that goes with right here at V, B slash A. It's not really flying sideways, right? But it's perceived relative to A that is flying sideways. What direction is it really going? You know, I mean, we're assuming that it, it's going where it's pointed. We're not going to talk about wind, you know, right now, but I, I think it's really going at 45 degrees that way, but the perceived velocity is that way. Uh, I don't know the magnitude of VB. That's what it's asking for. And I don't know the perceived velocity of V slash A, but that's okay. I have two unknowns. I can solve for those two unknowns. So let's go ahead and write this equation. I don't know this VB right here, but since I know its direction, go ahead and do as much as you can. I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, it's VB cosine 45 in the I, VB sine 45 in the J, right? If you know its direction, go ahead and plug in cosine and sine. Equals 800I. All right, so I don't know VB slash A, but I know it's 60 degrees. And let me be careful. It's 60 degrees back to the left and up. So the cosine 60, that should be minus in the negative cosine 60, but in the positive sine 60 in the J. And so there, there's my equation right there. Does it look like you have too many unknowns? I mean, I don't know. There's just two, VB 
MVB Sasha. So I like to uh, write my I equations separate from my J equation. So I'd say VB cosine 45. And I actually might just go ahead and plug in cosine 45 is about 0 0.707. So maybe 0 0.707 VB on the left-hand side. What do I have on the right-hand side? 800. And on minus VB slash A cosine 60. I wish sometimes that, that equation will only have one unknown so that you can solve for that one unknown. Uh, but it has two unknowns, so I'll jump to the next equation. VB sine 45 uh, plus VB slash A sine 60. Uh, that equation has two unknowns, but you can solve two equations, two unknowns. Write one in terms of the other, plug in to the other. Two equations, we can solve the VB, VB slash A. I, I will uh, just, you do know kind of a shortcut here that Cosine 45 is equal to sine 45, so you, you could get, you know, you could do a little bit less math by substituting the whole VB sine 45 is equal to VB cosine 45, or you could subtract uh, equations. Yes. Uh, no, because it's up. This is just up right here. And also, the, this equation, there, there's, they're, they're all positive. Um, yeah, but, and be careful, right, with those positives and negatives and minuses. Uh, all right, so math, 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 math. VB slash A would be 586 kilometers per hour. VB, which is what I'm looking for, 714 kilometers per hour. So that is the magnitude of velocity B. That's what it was asking for. 